Entering 2020, Ole Miss has a stable of pass catchers ready to take major strides for the offense. Four rushers and over the middle complete. First down and a beautiful move by Elijah Moore. He bends it back inside. An Ole Miss touchdown from Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore is as smooth as they come. The rising junior has been a playmaker since he stepped foot on campus two seasons ago. As a sophomore, he led the team with 67 receptions for 850 yards and six touchdowns. He's shifty, got straight line speed, and continues to get stronger, readying himself for battles against SEC DBs in 2020. Speaking of strong and fast, Jonathan Mingo is ready for year two. Lofted one out there, perfect throw and catch, touchdown Mingo. Mingo's been impressive, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Freshman to freshman again. Mingo played in all 12 games last season and only made 12 grabs on the year, but at 6'2", 215, the Brandon native is primed to explode onto the scene here this season. Braylon Sanders is the veteran of the group. Number 13 is looking to make the most of his senior campaign, leading a core that features guys like Dontario Drummond, Demarcus Gregory, Miles Battle, and the Jacksons, Dennis and Jaden. Tisdale throwing toward the end zone. He's got a man there. Caught for the touchdown on the near sidelines. That's Jaden Jackson. Freshman to freshman, Jackson gets his first TD as an Ole Miss Rebel. While there are familiar faces for the receivers, the tight end group loses Octavius Cooley and Jason Pellerin and will look to two transfers in 2020. Former Temple Al Kenny Yaboa and Mississippi native Chase Rogers will look to repeat the success of Lane Kiffin coach tight ends at Florida Atlantic, where now Cleveland Brown Harrison Bryant won the John Mackey Award in 2019. With weapons all over the field and Lane Kiffin at the helm, the Ole Miss offense should be fun to watch in 2020.